This current challenge is called super reduced string. We're going to have a string of characters and we have to do a couple of operations. So in each operation, we have to select a pair of adjacent letters that match and delete them. We need to delete as many characters as possible using these methods and return the resulting string. If the final string is empty, return empty string. So this is what they mean. Let's say we have this string here. These two A characters are adjacent characters and they match. In other words, this here is a duplicate. So we need to delete that. And this here is a resulting string. But if we have a string like this here, when we process that string, we have these two B characters here as adjacent and they match. So we delete these two characters and now we are left with this string. But this now is double A. So these again are adjacent characters and they also match. So we need to delete that. And now we have to return empty string as a string. So this is the code for the logic I just demonstrated. We have this function called super reduced string. It takes in a string parameter called S and we need to return a string. First, we're going to verify is the string empty. If it is, then we return empty string. Otherwise, we need to verify if we have two or more characters to process, then we're going to have this for loop. And inside this loop, from the beginning to the end, we are starting at index one. And we want to compare if the character at index i is the same as the character right before it. If it is, then this means that we have two adjacent characters that match. And in this case, we want to delete them. So what we're going to do is use recursion. We call the super reduced string function again. And for the argument, what we pass here is what is going to be represented here by s in the recursive call. And S here is going to be the string that we are processing, but without the matching characters, the adjacent characters. So I'm calling the erase methods on my S string here, and I'm erasing from the position at index I minus one, and I'm deleting two characters here. So we are going to repeat these recursive calls until this evaluates to false, and we don't have any characters left to process. Whatever is a resulting string is what we're going to return here, but it's possible that after deleting characters, we're going to be left with an empty string. And that's why we have this line here to take care of search cases. So that's the logic. I'm going to submit this code now. And we've passed all the test cases. So that's it, guys. This was called super reduced string. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.